Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use some nulls to then create a path. And the advantage of this is that you can then animate the positions of the nulls, which will then animate the path in a very explicit way. So it's very easy to do this. Let's just start a new scene. And in this new scene, we need to create some nulls. You can create a null um, by either going to the um, add elements window and typing in null, um, or by using the uh, keyboard shortcut keyboard shortcut command shift equals on the Mac or control shift equals on Windows so I can create um, a bunch more like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these um, move these around so we'll do um, we'll do this so uh, okay um, so I've got uh, my uh, four nulls here and um, uh, the, the way that you turn these into a path is using the path to curve utility so let's load that up we're just going to go um, no, it's not. It is points to curve, sorry. Points to curve utility. Path to curve makes no sense at all. Um, and then what we need to do, basically, that this um, uh, this utility has um, some uh, inputs here where you can uh, make connections to. And you could either put behaviors on here or whatever if you wanted to, but we're going to connect the positions of the nulls into these uh, four positions here. We can add more, and I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, but um, yeah, for now, what we need to do is add the add the null um, settings into the HP editor. So we'll just do that. Add four, three, two, one, and then we'll add the points to curve at the top. And then what we need to do is we need to add the um, position, connect the position from the first null to the position uh, zero, so the first position in the points to curve. So we'll just do that by dragging from the uh, connection anchor onto position zero, like that. And that's done. We can just close that um, UI. And then we'll do the same for um, the second null. And then we'll do the same for the third null. And then we'll do the same for the fourth null. And that's it. We're done. So now you can move these nulls around, and the path will, um, the path will obviously uh, change shape. And you can close the path if you want to. So um, in that way, you can, um, yeah, create a, a closed path if you want, um, or you can make a, um, a linear path if you want to. Um, so you don't have to use uh, Bezier's. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a smooth path. Um, so um, just a quick quick additional step and that's if you want to add another um if you want to add another point say i want to add another null so that's um uh control shift um or command shift on mac equals key so let's add an extra uh, an extra null at the end here and i want um i need, need to add this to this uh, to this list uh, but there isn't any space there are no free slots so i need to add a slot and then you do that by hitting the add button up here uh, and then we can just grab um the uh, null fives uh, position here and we need to just pop that onto the uh, position uh, the bottom position here and then that gives us um, that gives us an extra an extra slot so yeah that's um that's basically how you can build a path from nulls and then yeah as you would just animate these uh, keyframes in the normal way animate these sorry nulls in the normal way and um, and that's it hopefully you find that useful